Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today we're reviewing another NeoPixel dupe lightsaber from Temu. So stay tuned. Sea Rad. Hi, everybody. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. I did a review a couple of weeks ago on a NeoPixel dupe lightsaber from Temu. And while I was kind of happy with it, there were a couple of things I didn't like about it. So I had actually ordered a second one to see if I liked this one better. So it's here. We're going to give you an up close look at it, show you how it works. And of course, rate it on our scale of totally bad to totally rad. So Fisher, I am going to have to set you and Luke to the side. You good with that? We're good with that. <laughs> All right, little dudes. Boop, boop. We will see you in a little bit. So this is the first one that I got. I loved the rose gold handle on it, but it made this annoying, annoying sound when you turned it on. So I found one that made different sounds and this is it right here. So I grabbed this one. I really didn't want a black hilt, but it's black and silver. It's pretty cool looking, almost dark saber-ish like. So yeah, I, I went for it. So these are rechargeable. They come with a little port there and a little USB cable so you can recharge them. And then this little silver button here is how you turn it on. And when it turns on, it comes on where it scrolls through the different colors of the lightsaber. Now you can hear this one. I'll muffle it a little bit. This one has a constant sound, which I kind of like better than the one. The other one was kind of intermittent. The speaker's here on the bottom. So if you cover it up, it does muffle the sound, or if you stuff some cotton in there, it can. And one of the things I did not like about the other saber is I could not turn the sound on and off. However, one of our viewers came to my rescue in the comments of that video and let me know that even though the instructions don't say it on the Temu box, if you hit the button three times, it turns the sound off. And yes, it does work for this one too. So this one, it had that annoying sound that was driving me insane. But when you hit that button three times really quickly, it turns the sound off on that one as well. So I do now have two lightsabers that function the way I want them to. I will give you an update on this one. This is coming loose on this one already. It has to be screwed in there really, really well or else the blade, yeah, it, it kind of turns a little bit. So I'm really worried about that popping off if I take it to use it anywhere. But turning this one off, Going back to the one that we're actually talking about today, I love the black and silver hilt, even though I didn't want a black one. And it seems to be in there a lot better than the rose gold one. It's a little bit heavier and a little bit thicker than the rose gold one as well. So I think the quality on this one might be a little bit better. I am picking this back up because I do want to show you they are exactly the same size. Hilt's the same size, blade is the same size, and the blade is made out of the same plastic material on both of them. So Connor and I can have some lightsaber tools now. <laughs> like the other one, this one was sent in a box in a bag, and again, my box came obliterated, but the lightsaber itself was in perfect shape and did not get lost. It has the same amount of colors, so there is 15 different colors. So we're gonna turn the light off so we can scroll through them and show you how it looks. So I actually hopped into our bathroom really quick because it gets really dark in here and there wasn't enough, it was still light in the other room. So, ready guys? So how cool is that? Much better in here. You guys can see how it glows much better. Let me turn the sound off. Ha, ah, much better. So when you turn it on, it comes on in that one that kind of fades through all the colors. Hit the button again. 
We got a solid blue. Solid pink. I love this one. I call this one Barbie pink. I think it's supposed to be purple, but to me, it comes across like a really bright pink. That's an even lighter pink. Orange, and you can see, if you can't see this good enough, you can see the glow around me. That's kind of more of a purple to me. Yeah. Different shade of blue. Red. Ooh, I am not a Sith. This one's an extremely light pink. Almost a purpley color. Another shade of blue. Darker blue. I kind of like this one. Another shade of orange. Green. Finally a green. <laughs> Another shade of pink. Purple. Blue. Looks like we're back to the beginning. Yeah. So, these do also have clash action, just like the other ones. So when you fight, it does blink. And it does make the clash sound. Let me turn the sound back on real quick so you can hear that. Oh. <laughs> so when you hit it, it makes a sound when you change colors. And we'll turn that sound back off for right now. I think for May the 4th, I'm taking this one with me, and I think I'm going to do that bright pink shade, because that's really, really fun. This one, right here. I know, it kind of looks purple, but again, to me, it looks like a really, really bright pink. So, very fun. So, let's go back into the other room so we can rate this, and I'll give you the details on how much it was. So, how super cool are these? I love it. They are an affordable lightsaber. The NeoPixels usually go for a couple hundred dollars and way up from that. This one, $27 on Temu. I will put the link in the description of the video for you. And I think the other one when I got it was like 19 So, yeah. Definitely some great prices on these. Rating this one on our scale of totally bad to totally rad. Comparing it to the first one, this is definitely a totally rad now that I can get the sound off <laughs> and I don't have to listen to that. I just didn't want to drive people nuts at Disneyland on the 4th. But now that I know I can turn the sound off and I've got my pink saver, I'm a very, very happy girl. <laughs> But what do you think of it, guys? Do you have any of the sabers from Temu? Let us know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right? May the fourth be with you. What are you doing? Kroger's down.